Hi guys and welcome back to NodeFlow. In the last video of the new crowd series, we saw together how to create a crowd system using Houdini built-in characters and animations. But what if I told you that we have access to a library with hundreds of characters and animation for free? Let's get started. So here we are on Mixamo.com. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for free, but if you're using any of the Adobe app and you have an Adobe account, you can log in here. Once we are in Mixamo, as you can see, we can choose between lots of different characters and lots of different animations over here. But I'm interested in a particular character that's called Paladin. I will look for it and I want the one that doesn't have any props for now. So let's select it and use this character. As you can see, it's already playing an animation. Don't worry if yours is different, it's perfectly fine. Now we can just delete our filters and go back to animations and choose the animations that we want for our agents. Although before choosing some moving animation, I want to download the agent with the typos. As you can see, we have a clip where the agent is standing still. And it's always a good habit to download this one as this is very helpful if you want to do cloth simulations or if you want to make your setup cleaner, starting with this one as default and then later add some clips. So let's confirm here and let's download it. I will make sure to have 24 frames and that here I have width skin and then I will download. Now we have our characters. The next step is to add some animations. So over here instead of the typos I will look for a pack of animations. I'm interested in the pro sword and shield pack. Let's select it. It will take a while to load as it will show you all the animations that are present in this pack one after the other one. Because we already know that this pack is pretty nice, we can just go here and download. I will still make sure that I have 24 frames per second and over here I want to select no characters as I already have my character downloaded from before. So let's confirm. Once you have your downloads, just make sure to unzip the animation folders and you should have your agent in typos and all the animations inside the folder. The next step Houdini. Let's start by creating a geonode. I will name this one Crowd02. I will then copy my name and Ctrl S to save. I will paste my name over here and confirm. Now that my file is saved, we can go inside. Over here, let's create an agent node. As we saw in the last video, it's the best way to import a crowd agent. The next step is to change the name of our agent to Paladin. In the input, I will change it to FPX. And over here, I can import my agent. So I will choose my Paladin and I will accept. As you can see, we have our agent correctly imported. The next step is to change the name of this clip, because if you check here, the clip is called mixamo.com. So let's actually go here into the clip name and call this one t -pose. And as you can see now, the only possibility for this agent, as this is the only clip that we have, is the t -pose. The next step is to have fun with some animations. So I will create an agent clip, over here, I will connect the agents. And over here, I can connect some animations if you have a file or something like that. But for now, we can just connect that inside. Over here, I will name my future animation walk. And then I will change the input to be FBX as before. Make sure to check convert to place animation. And over here to select your locomotion node to be the hips and to set current clip to walk. Let's check apply clip locomotion. And now the only thing that we need is to import a walk animation into the Pro Sword Shield Pack. I will select a walk animation and press accept. Now, if everything is set up correctly, if you press play, you should see your agent walking. Make sure although to check this box so it will play in real time. As you can see, this is the correct behavior because the agent is following the point. If you want to know more about the crowd basics and why this is working, please make sure to check the latest video as we introduce these concepts and so it will be a little bit clearer for you following this lesson. Once you have that clear, you can proceed. Now I want to import more clips. I want to import a run clip that I can select here with a plus. Again, I will make sure to change my input to FBX and I will do exactly, exactly the same thing. So over here, I will check convert in place animation and I will choose a run clip. I will then accept and nothing is changing because we don't really have a name for this clip. So let's name it run. And over here, we can change our current clip to be run. Again, let's press play to preview our results and our agent is correctly running. So with this knowledge, you can import an infinite amount of animations. And in later chapters, we'll see how to blend between these different animations based on some triggers. For now, two animations are enough. So my next step would be to create a crowd source node. This is a key node as with this one, we will multiplicate our agent. So let's play a little bit with the crowd source. We can change this one to formations if you want something that looks more like some soldiers. And we can change the initial state to be 
walk if you want them to start by walking but as you can see they are going very fast that's because the speed or better the locomotion is being derived from the run animation because here if you check we left the set current clip to run so if you want them to just walk correctly you can just type walk and as you can see over here the initial state is walk and they will have the correct speed in this case you will need to do the same also for the run animation so we can check here run and because right now it's taking the speed from the walk animation as you can see we need to change also this one so make sure to select in both of them the same clip and you will have control on which animation to play so if you want to achieve a greater level of control over of your crowd you can take a look to the previous video where I show you how to get an amazing level of control with the new crowd motion path tools. Now that we know how to import custom agents and animations, in the next video I will show you how to add randomizations to your crowd so that your agents will look identical and that your crowd will look more believable. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot and it really really helps this channel to grow. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next one.